Hey y'all, guess what? It is Tracy again. And this time I am coming back to do a Born Pretty um, review. This is going to be a reveal. Um, I bought these plates on Amazon. Um, I have really just been kind of going crazy with the plates. You know, just getting different designs and things like that. And I like a lot of the Born Pretty plates. Most of the time when I get Born Pretty, I get the small little round ones. Because um, I'm always looking for the animal or kitty um, plates. And they have a lot of those. So today, we're going to be looking at these. I got one, two, three, four, five different plates. And um, we're going to look at them together. So this is the first one. This is Born Pretty L030. And they come in these nice little sleeves. So I try to keep the sleeves for like storing the plates. And this is really a pretty lace image plate. And I've taken the blue film off of all of them just so that this video can be like shorter. So there's this one. Then we have the Born Pretty uh, 26 plate. Like a nature plate. And let me see, I'm thinking on here, nope, not this one. But Born Pretty has this one that has tulips on it. And um, I'm hoping that I ordered that one because tulips is like one of my favorite flowers. So there's this plate here, and it has some flowers and leaf images on it. And again, you guys know that most of my plates that I've been showing you guys have a lot of nature um, themes, because I really like, like the nature type of themes. Then we got the Born Pretty 027 plate. There's that like little fingerprint looking design again, but it's like a swirl, a swirl kind of design. So I, I like this. This is kind of like abstracty looking to me or Aztec, um, but I like these. Okay. And then we've got the 28, Born Pretty 28. Another like medallion looking, kind of lacy type of prints. These are really pretty. I really love seeing different nail designs um, when people do use this type of style. They can get really, really creative. And that's the other thing about this nail art. It makes it brings out your creativity. Color combinations and all that jazz. And then the last one that I have is the Born Pretty 29. Another, oh, okay, yeah. So I did get it. It does have the tulips. And then, you know what? This is a reverse of the two so you can do some reverse stamping or layering um, with this layering is what I meant to say can do layering with this one so yeah really excited about this plate because I like the flowers and stuff so yeah I just want to come on and show you guys my born pretty collection um I am just collecting like a lot of different Born Pretty plates and Ajubas and just plates that I really, really um, like and that are made well and have good etching. So yeah, these kind of remind me this particular style here with the um, plastic backing. Because some of the plates that you might find won't have plastic backing, but this does. And the plastic backing on here is is on here really good. So that's a plus too. Because sometimes on some plates I've got um, like the Dixie plates. Those, um, you know, the backing is kind of sort of coming off. 
So, but these, the Born Pretty, I love the sleeves that they come in because they're great for storage and they look pretty as well. So, yeah, that's all I got for y'all today. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed looking at the Born Pretty plates. And if you are looking for some nice designs, check out Born Pretty. I will post the link below where you can get these plates. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. If this video helps you or if you like it, please like and subscribe. I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.